Now the fall is here and it rains everywhere Taking shelter inside, inside of my mind Get a feeling you drown as it's flooding the ground I will build you a home, I will build you a home Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome back to my channel for another video. So today I am going to be sharing with you my fall favorites and must-haves. This list is pretty long, so you'll probably want to grab yourself a cup of coffee or a bowl of popcorn or something, uh, because we are going to settle in and talk about the things that I love for the fall time. Some of these are recent favorites, like in the last couple of months and for this fall season specifically, and a lot of these things are actually items or products that I have been loving for the fall time for the past few years. So where I live in the Seattle area, Pacific Northwest, it's been feeling like fall time. The weather has cooled down for the better part of this last month and the leaves on the trees are all orange and red and yellow and there's a coolness, a crispness to the air. And so I have been able to really enjoy some products uh, tailored more toward the fall time even though we've technically still been in the summer. But I've been someone who has loved fall time, the transition from summer to fall. It's a wonderful season and I get this feeling of new life and change and I love it so much and I love being able to share my thoughts and uh, the products and things that I've been loving during the season. With you guys, I feel like I get an extra little sneak peek on fall time just because of where I live and so I'm able to authentically make videos themed around the fall time because it truly is a different sort of season than it had been the month before. And I've got some really good stuff here so I'm so excited to share it with you. Later on in this video, I have a notification squad giveaway so make sure that you stick around uh, uh, to the part where I share with you what I am putting in the giveaway as well as how to enter the giveaway. I did a lot of notification squad giveaways over the summertime and I love it so much I'm gonna do another one to kick off the fall season so stay tuned for that. But let's hop into our first category which is beauty. So for years, my very favorite eyeshadow palette for the fall time, and for a lot of the year actually, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Eyeshadow Palette. This isn't anything new. This palette has been around for a long, long time, and as you can see, it's well loved. I love this palette so much. It's so easy to put a look together. I was so excited when I came across a video by my friend Sarah Therese here on YouTube. Um, I know a lot of people back like last year were comparing the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air eyeshadow palette to the Modern Renaissance one. And I think Sarah did such a beautiful job of comparing the shades and giving her opinion as far as the quality and everything. And that video of Sarah's convinced me to go buy the Wet n Wild one. It's like the same sort of color story. And this is $4.99 at Target right now. And this is $42.99 on um, like at Ulta or Sephora. So Definitely a huge price difference and actually the thing that I prefer with the drugstore version other than the fact that you save so much money if you buy this um, But the transition shades the shades that I use the most of are the biggest pans in The palette which I just think is really cool the quality is there especially in the matte shades and I love this palette so much so, so much for the fall time. Now to go along with an eye look, a nice neutral lip color, which in fall favorites videos, you're gonna be seeing a lot of really bold or like really deep vampy berry colors or whatever. And those are fun sometimes. And I do have some products that I use when I wanna go that route. But this fall specifically, I've been doing a lot of more nude colors on my lips and playing up the eyes a bit more. And my favorite nude color right now, is the e.l.f. matte lip color in the shade Praline and it is absolutely gorgeous. One of the reasons it's so easy to apply is that it's very much like a lip pencil but then you can use like the flat edge of it if you roll it up and put the color all over your lips. I feel like it complements the eye looks that I've been doing with the Wet n Wild palette really really well. This has like been the duo of the month and I've had comments about my makeup and my eye look and uh, what I'm wearing on my lips and this has mostly been it for the last month. Okay so let's talk about what is on my nails since I'm sure some of you are wondering by now. Um, this is from KL Polish. You guys know I love 
love this brand. I've loved this brand for over two years and I'm now an ambassador with them, which is so cool. Um, this is the shade Medusa from Kale Polishes Fall in the City. This is their autumn 2018 line. They came out with six gorgeous polishes. I received PR from them and I have been wearing these shades all throughout this last month. And this shade, Medusa, is the one that I have worn the most. It's the one that I always reapply. And it's actually the shade that I thought I would like the least when I first got it in the mail. This is before any of the pictures were released or anything like that. So I had no sneak peek. I just got it in the mail and I was like, eh, I don't know if that one's for me but on my nails, oh my goodness, I love this so much. This is like a duochrome, really metallic without being sparkly nail polish, and at some angles, it looks absolutely just beautiful gold. And then you shift the light, and it looks like the most intense sort of turquoise green blue color. One coat of this polish is actually my favorite way to wear it. It just adds this beautiful reflective sheen to like a nude color that I have on my nails or like a clear base coat that I have on and then if you put two coats or even three coats it's like this amazing chrome sort of finish and it's absolutely gorgeous. Moving on to some clothing. So I recently tried out the long sleeve shirts from A New Day, the brand at Target. I had never tried anything from them before but I am so impressed by the cut and the quality and of course the price point of these shirts. They just fit really well and they're super comfortable and I've been really into just basics lately. Our weather gets pretty chilly here in the Seattle area and so having something that is a good foundation for the rest of your outfit is definitely important and um, some things that I've loved layering on and of course this has to be in a fall time favorites video are cardigans. I have worn this cardigan in so many videos recently on my channel as well as over on my vlogging channel. This has been a cardigan that I have absolutely lived in for the past month ever since the weather got a little bit cooler. This is a cardigan that I got off of the ThreadUp app and it's actually going to be included in a thrifting ThreadUp haul video that I'm going to be doing. It's a sponsored video. I think it's going to be in October um, as a bonus video for the week that it's going up but I had to mention this specific cardigan right now because ever since I got it in my ThreadUp box I have literally been wearing it nonstop. This is from the brand Express. It's a long cardigan and it has pockets and I love this gray marled knitted look. I think it's super comfy and cozy and it goes with everything. I've worn this with a little jersey dress to church. I've worn this with jeans and I always find myself like wrapping up in it and it is so cozy. On the cardigan subject, another recent favorite of mine. This is a cardigan that I picked up at Old Navy the other day. I had some super cash. It was on sale and I actually shared a haul of my Old Navy finds on my Instagram. I will have my Instagram linked in the description box for you guys. It's just Natalie Bennett vlogs. But this is another one of those long line cardigans which I don't typically go for because I'm short and my legs are proportionately short to the rest of my body. When I wear something that's long in the torso or like a long line top I always feel like it just makes my legs look even shorter but at this point I don't really care because this is so cute and comfortable. It's such a good color. I'm really enjoying the earth tones right now and this cardigan is one of their uh, like soft spun material and it's so comfy and cozy and I got it on a really good deal too. I've been using essential oils in my home for several years now and a couple for this fall time that I've just been using like every single day. First of all, this is vetiver. This smells so smoky and rich and woodsy. It has a very calming effect, which I really like, and mixed with other essential oils especially, this smells so amazing for the fall time. And then another one that I've been using, and this is one that you see all the time, especially from Young Living, this is the Thieves Essential Oil Blend. It has, let's see, clove, 
lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. This has a very nice aroma and I've been actually putting it on my chest as I've been congested here. Um, and it definitely has a nice soothing effect and the vapors just really help open up my airways. But beyond being like therapeutic or whatever, it's also just really yummy in my house for fall time. I put the combination of these two in my essential oil diffuser and then you guys have seen me do this before. I also will drop this into the front uh, filter of my vacuum and as I'm vacuuming my house the smell will just like go out into the house as I'm going into the other rooms and it smells so good. And that's actually my little trick. That is the quickest way to make my essential oils just fill my house with their scent. But vetiver is a recent fall scent favorite and Thieves has been one that I've used for years. I'll even use like the Vitality version of this and drop it into my coffee, just like one drop in my coffee and it has this sort of like chai coffee, like a dirty chai flavor. The Young Living brand, if you get the Vitality version, they are safe to ingest. Um, for adults. I don't give these to my kids to ingest, obviously. Um, but this is really, really good in coffee, just one drop. And speaking of coffee, I have to tell you the coffee that I've been loving and one that I love for the fall time every year when it comes out. This is from Starbucks. This is their Cassie Cielo medium roast coffee. And typically because I use my espresso machine most often to make coffee for myself, I will choose a dark roast, but the medium roast really pulls shots of espresso really well. It has just this rich, almost cacao flavor undertone. It literally tastes like chocolate and it's super smooth and it just makes the best cup of coffee. And I have noticed that this coffee really complements the other flavors that I'll put in my coffee for the fall time. Last week I actually made a video all about my favorite fall coffee recipes and um, this was the coffee that I was actually using. I didn't even talk about it in that video, but um, if you guys want to check out that video, I will have it linked for you in the description box. You guys have been giving me so much love uh, in the comments on that video. I loved putting that video together for you guys. And um, it inspired me to make the other um, little coffee stand DIY video. So you guys got two videos last week. And for my non-coffee drinkers, um, in that video I actually did have a bonus recipe for you guys. Um, and then I have been enjoying this pumpkin spice herbal tea. This is from Harney and & Sons and it is so yummy. I'm not much of a tea drinker, um, but I saw this on the clearance rack at Target and I just had to pick it up. It sounded so good. Oh, it smells so good. Even though I'm congested right now, it just is so aromatic and there's no artificial flavoring or dyes in this, which is what I go for when I'm picking out food or drinks. And this one, it is so yummy. So the fall season is perfect for finding fresh and flavorful fruits and vegetables and to make gorgeous colorful dishes with them like this butternut squash and red pepper sage soup that I've been making in my crock pot. But actually the favorite fall time snack of mine lately has been something that uses fresh tomatoes from my mom's garden as well as my friend Teresa's garden. I just love having some fresh tomatoes sliced up thinly with some of these fresh little mozzarella. They're marinated mozzarella balls that I get from Costco. And then I will drizzle some balsamic glaze on the top and it is so, so good. And some of us think of like a caprese salad as a summertime thing, but tomatoes are best at this time of the year, in my opinion. And so this has been something that I've been eating every day as like a snack in between lunch and dinner or after the kids have gone to bed and we turn on some Netflix, I'll make a little bit of this for me and Weston. And Weston's not a tomato person, but this is the way that he likes to eat them if he ever does. The show that Weston and I have been absolutely loving, and we are so late to the game on this, but it is The Office. The first time we turned it on, the first season, I was just like, I don't like this. This is not my style. I'm not getting into this. I'm not enjoying it. I'm not laughing. It's just kind of stupid. Um, and then we had friends, and then my sister and her boyfriend have really been enjoying it, and people everywhere are always talking about The Office. And so Weston and I gave it more of a chance. We stuck with it. We kept 
watching it and now we are hooked. We're only in season five right now. We just started season five. So don't say any spoilers to me in the comments. I don't want to know. We're just going to watch all the way through and then get caught up with everyone. And then for me, for not Netflix and chill time, but actually like Netflix and do laundry time, mommy Netflix time, I have been really getting into my favorite show ever in the entire world, which is called The Midwife. Season seven just came out on Netflix and I am binge watching it. I love it so much. I watch it while I am making notes for YouTube videos, sending emails, doing laundry. It is such a heartwarming and endearing show. You root for the characters that you're watching and in years to come, I would love to uh, become a doula. And so watching this show has really inspired me over the past several years and it is so so good and of course BBC their production their cinematography it's just so enjoyable to watch and I get a lot of inspiration from it. All right, so let's talk about some kid favorites, starting with an Etsy brand that I recently found. I found this darling brand on Etsy. It's called Zizuti, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, it's a gal shop owner on Etsy from the Ukraine, and she makes amazing like kids, baby, toddler clothing. I fell in love with these little handmade muslin tunics for Haley, and she sent me a few of them. I have this, I think this is called the cappuccino color. It's this, uh, dusty, rosy sort of coffee color. And then there's a gray, of course, and a really pretty mustard. And these are such good quality. And I'm starting to work toward more of a capsule wardrobe for Haley, specifically for her going out outfits. So like if we go to church or uh, go on a play date with friends. I want a smaller collection of things that are easy to mix and match of like high quality clothing that she can wear for a long time. They have like these real wood buttons and you can just tell that they're made with love. They're very well crafted and I really love pairing these with cute leggings that I get for her from Old Navy and I think they're absolutely worth the money. That's another thing about capsule wardrobes is that maybe the individual pieces are just a little bit more expensive but they're made of like really good quality materials and um, they're gonna last a long time and these have just been absolutely wonderful and I asked the shop owner if she would give you guys a discount um, I was the one who reached out to her and um, I definitely wanted to share what she's doing with you guys and support a small business and so I asked if she had a like discount code or coupon for you guys so I will leave information for all of that in the description box if you are on the lookout for something like this. Just a very classic style. These are so darling. Um, you've seen these on Haley for several videos now for a few months, um, but now that we're getting into the colder season, she'll be able to wear these more often. And I just absolutely love them. And then something for the boys. I am so excited about these. These are the Target uh, Cat and Jack brand little toddler boy joggers. Years ago, I got these for the boys in like an 18 month size and they wore the tar out of these. They wore these every day. Target stopped making these and I was so sad about that. Like I went back a couple years ago at the fall season and realized that they no longer made them anymore and then they just released them this year for fall time and I'm so happy about that. They're really easy to get on and off. They have a working drawstring. The knees are reinforced and so they can really be worn a lot. These are super easy to mix and match with the shirts that the boys have and they work well for uh, more dressy occasions. They wear these to church, they wear these to their preschool class in the morning sometimes, and they wear them to play outside, which is really great. And Haley is so tough on her clothes when she's playing outside. She loves the dirt and the rocks and the grass and so I stopped putting her in, you know, like cute little baby girl outfits for outside playtime. And I just went ahead and bought her a 12 month size of these. And so that's what she wears. She wears little boy pants outside and she loves it. She has so much fun. And this is such a good piece from Target. I actually want to make a whole video about my favorite kids clothing brands as well as like specific pieces from those brands. So I think I'm finally ready to put that video actually together and also give you some like 
kids clothing tips and how I save money and you know little hacks and stuff like that so these will definitely make their way into that video I think these will too definitely so stay tuned for that video I think it's gonna be coming out in October or November okay another thing for the boys for the kids for fall time uh, for school season are their leap pad ultimates we had our eye on these leap pads for the boys for their fourth birthday and then our friends Jim and Teresa um, actually wanted to get it for them and they got each of the boys one of these and then a couple of games to go with there's also a like app store for these where you can go buy games and download them straight to the device and I love these so much the boys get about 40 minutes or an hour or so each day on these they play little preschool games little kindergarten games and um, there's like a little painting game there's so much so much that you can do on these they have like Disney character games that you can buy um, where they're learning a lot of school skills um, along with like Disney characters and it's all about learning it's not really games just that turn your brain to mush that are just for fun. There's definitely a learning aspect behind all of the Leap Frog, Leap Pad games. They're a VTech brand. Um, we've bought so many different VTech toys for the kids. Um, and I had a Leap Frog globe when I was a kid, and it was like my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Oh, no pun intended. It's just one of the best kid educational games and toys brand. And we've worked with VTech in the past. Um, on our vlogging channel and they're just a good brand all around and so if you're looking for something to just add to your kids school experience I definitely recommend this we use this not really as a part of our homeschooling but just in addition to it's if they just want some chill time they will do this during quiet time they will play on this if it's a rainy day um, for the fall time specifically this is going to be really good for times where they want to like play something but it's like pouring down rain outside or it's just too cold or dreary or I don't want to have to go out there with them this is a really good option and speaking of rainy day another thing for my kids for the fall time something that we've been really enjoying over the past couple of months is our rainy day basket I talked about this in more detail in my how to cozy up your home for fall time video that's linked in the description box for you guys if you want to check it out but a rainy day basket is just full of our family's assortment of things that we want to have quick access to if it's a rainy day if we have a moment where we're feeling a little bit bored if we want a little snack if we want a little game this basket has several items in it that we just come together as a family and enjoy together when it's drizzly and dreary outside perfect for fall time and that finishes off the list of my fall time favorites and must-haves I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and definitely let me know in the comments what your fall time favorites are if you are catching this video within the first 24 hours that it goes live it's probably because you have your notifications turned on for my channel and I want to thank you for doing that so I'm gonna put together this little bundle of things that reflect my fall favorites to share with you starting off with the wet and wild rosé in the air eyeshadow palette which I absolutely love and a pound of the Starbucks Cassie Cielo coffee and I'm gonna give you the whole beans so that you can grind it to however you like to make coffee then I'm adding a little bottle of thieves essential oil blend from young living so your house can smell amazing and last but not least I am including the entire KL polish fall in the city 2018 line of uh, nail polishes all six shades they sent me a package in PR which I got to try out for the last month and then I purchased a whole new set of it so that I could give it away to you guys because I love this brand and I want to share it with you it's super easy to enter this giveaway I'm gonna just keep it really simple just subscribe to my channel and make sure you have your channel notifications turned on and then head over to my Instagram and comment on my notification squad giveaway post telling me about what your fall favorite is I will pick one of you guys at random and message you over there on Instagram to let you know that you have won this little bundle of my fall favorites you just make me so happy and you you are such a blessing and I want to share some of my favorite things with you over there so good luck to everyone who enters this giveaway fly would you please stop buzzing around of course in the last 10 minutes of filming this video a fly flew into my room so I think it's time for me to say goodbye thank you guys so much for watching today's video happy fall and I'll catch you later